Hey there. This is my EAA Windicator 38 Special Revolver. Really like this gun. Fits well in my hand, shoots well. The only catch is the, the sights. Uh, the sights are black and they're fixed. And if I'm shooting outside, it's easy enough to get a sight picture. Um, the only thing is when I go to a range um, in the place where the shooters stand, it's usually kind of dim. And so um, when I try to get a sight picture on a, uh, a black target, the front sight just basically blends in and it's uh, really difficult to get a, a good um, uh, aim on the bullseye. So I read online that it wouldn't be that hard to paint the front sight, something kind of bright. Um, decided to give it a try. I read that you should start by using alcohol to get rid of solvent and oil and so forth. To be honest, it didn't look like it removed a lot, but it seemed like a good first step. And then I uh, used masking tape to uh, tape up the, uh, the ramp where I was going to paint it because I wanted to get a nice squared off uh, kind of a bead on the front there. And uh, one caution for anybody trying to do this, um, taping up the, uh, the front ramp was more tricky than I had thought because it's angled like that. So getting the, the tape to fit in there perfectly was a little bit of a trick. But in the end, you can see I've got a nice um, kind of a rectangle there that I decided to paint. So I just went to Walgreens and got myself a uh, cheap bottle of nail polish, it's 99 cents. Got something that looked like it was pretty bright orange. Couldn't find anything neon, but that seemed close enough. Um, I've never used nail polish before, and when I was using this, I kind of did the cardinal sin of painting. I ended up putting it on real thick, as you can see there. I was kind of impatient. I learned later that I should have really done a couple of uh, coats. Um, so it looked good at first, but because it was so thick, obviously it was going to take a long time to dry. I ended up letting it dry uh, for a full hour, and that's probably not even long enough. Um, when I was taking off the tape, at first it looks like things were getting squared off pretty nicely, but you can see when I take it off the front part of the rectangle, there's like a little bit of a tag on it um, where the, the paint pulled up. But in the end, even though it's not beautiful, it looks pretty sharp. Um, I'll let it dry uh, the rest of the way overnight. The most important thing is though that now, um, even in a dim situation when I hold it up against a target, you can see that the, uh, the front ramp actually stands out pretty good against the, uh, the black bullseye. So this isn't any kind of fancy fiber optic sight or red dot or anything like that, but um, for 99 cents, um, my hope is that this will help out quite a bit when I uh, go to the range next time and make it a lot easier to get a sight picture on a black bullseye.